Welcome to Lively Lewis Stories. Buckle up, because you're about to join Levi and Ivy on an adventure. All you need is your imagination, and off, off we, we go! go! Lively Lewis Stories! Levi, I'll be upstairs to check your room in five minutes. You hear me? Five minutes. Called Levi's mom from downstairs. Please try to do your best. I don't want everything just shoved in your closet like last time. No problem, Mom, answered Levi with a smirk. You won't believe what my room looks like when you see it. So Levi continued his cleaning, which just meant stuffing anything he didn't have a place for under his bed. For some reason, his mom never checked under his bed, so he thought, why not use it as a hiding place for all the stuff that was cluttering up his room? He would clean under his bed at some point, he always told himself, so he didn't really think it was a problem. Levi was a wonderful son and a great brother. No one could argue that, but he wasn't exactly the most organized, neat, or tidy one in the house. His desk at school was declared a disaster area by his teacher, and his backpack was always busting at the seams with papers and folders and half-eaten ham sandwiches he would stuff inside week after week. So after hearing that you can imagine what his room looked like, which held way more stuff than his school desk or his backpack. Levi liked lots of things and his room reflected that. He had buckets of blocks, all different kinds of sports equipment, giant stuffed animals, tons of books, art supplies, and so many toys. Every week, his mom would take a look at his room and Ivy's to make sure they were staying clean and organized. Ivy's room check never lasted more than a few moments. Mom would give a quick look around from the doorway and always say what a marvelous job Ivy did. Her dolls were always perfectly seated on a shelf. Her crayons, markers, and color pencils were always nestled in their special labeled containers. Even her clothes were all neatly folded in her drawers. That's one thing Levi could never understand. Ivy, why do you spend so much time folding your clothes? You just put them in a drawer and no one sees them anyways. Levi asked as he took a shirt from the laundry basket, wadded it into a ball and threw it in his bottom drawer. Ivy would never understand why Levi didn't want everything neat and tidy in his room. It just makes everything so much easier to find, Ivy said. And doing it your way makes your clothes all wrinkly. I have to get back to my room now. Mom will be up soon. Levi didn't care much about wrinkled clothes. He would rather get his chores done quickly and head outside to play. But today, like any other room check day, Levi couldn't go out of his room until it was deemed totally tidy by his mom. Levi finished up a few things as he heard his mom walking down the hall. She stopped at Ivy's room first. She always did, and Levi could hear her giving her report. Great job, Ivy. Everything looks amazing, said Ivy's mom. Ivy always proudly opened her closet, all her drawers, even the closets in her dollhouse. Your room is always super, super tidy, her mom said as she turned to walk to Levi's room. Are you ready? She asked Levi as she walked through the door. Of course, just like every week, smiled Levi. Hmm, hmm, she said as she looked around the room. She opened his drawers, and while they weren't as neat as Ivy's, at least his clothes weren't all over the floor. She looked at his bookshelf, and while his books weren't color-coded by cover like Ivy's, at least most of them weren't upside down. Then she walked cautiously over to Levi's closet. She slowly turned the doorknob, closed her eyes, and pulled the door open. You can open your eyes, Mom, Levi laughed. Nothing's gonna fall on you. Wow, I'm pretty impressed, said Levi's mom. Even though your blocks are sitting in the same box as your baseball glove, it looks like a few of your stuffed animals are holding on to your paints for you. It's better than I thought. Levi was very excited to hear that. That meant he was one step closer to being able to go outside and play. That was, of course, if his room was declared to be by his mom, totally tidy. She was quiet for a minute, walked slowly around his room one more time, and then, much to Levi's excitement, said, it's not the neatest room I've ever seen, but it will pass for a totally tidy with a small T. Just try to work a little harder next time, okay, buddy? Levi took that as a win and told his mom she would be even more impressed next week. Levi quickly reached his arm under his bed to grab his favorite robot that he wanted to take and show his friend down the street. But for some reason, there was nothing there. That's weird, Levi thought. I just put it under there. Whatever, I'll just grab my baseball bat instead and head down to the field to play. Levi reached his arm back and forth under his bed, but couldn't feel a thing. He knew he had just put his baseball bat under there last week. 
Also his binoculars, a half-eaten bag of popcorn, his stuffed toy, Mr. Top Hat Hippo, and tons of school papers that had been scattered all over his floor. What is going on here? Levi said out loud. Where did everything go? Levi decided he needed to take a closer look and lay down on the floor and put his head all the way under his bed. What he saw could not be explained. There was nothing, nothing at all. No robot, no baseball bat, no popcorn, no Mr. Top Hat Hippo, and not one school paper to be found. The only thing he did see was something he couldn't explain. It was a hole, a giant hole, that was just a little smaller than his bed. It was dark, but he could see a little bit of light at the bottom. Hello? Levi called out. His voice echoed and Levi leaned in a bit closer. As he did, he lost his balance and found himself tumbling into the darkness. Lucky for him, there was a mattress at the bottom of the hole which broke his fall. In fact, it was his mattress. Well, or at least it looked like it to him. It had the same dino sheets and comfy pillow. Where am I? Levi thought to himself. It looks like his room, but very, very different. It was like being in a fantasy world. All the elements looked familiar, but they were either oversized or different colors or just a little strange. Levi got up and took a walk around. Hey, that's my baseball bat, exclaimed Levi reaching for it. But as soon as he touched it, he realized something was wrong. It felt like, like jello. Ew, Levi shouted. What is going on? Then he saw his binoculars, but when he looked through them, he could see all the way into outer space. He tossed them back down on the ground and stepped backward into a giant bag of popcorn. But as you might imagine, it wasn't any ordinary popcorn. This popcorn was alive. Ow, buddy, watch where you're stepping. The pieces of popcorn called out. We're on our way to see a movie and we don't want to get crushed before we get there. Levi stood there just staring at the popcorn bag with his mouth wide open. He was completely speechless. Wow, you think he'd never seen a giant bag of talking popcorn before, muttered the popcorn as he walked by Levi and out of the room. Levi was getting a little nervous and kind of wanted to be back in his own room, but he was also a little curious as to what else he would find in this strange new world. Well, he didn't have to wait too long to find out. Levi shuffled around the room through knee-deep papers that looked suspiciously like his schoolwork from the last few weeks. But the papers, like everything else, weren't normal. They could fly and they would do so as Levi walked around. As he ducked and dodged the papers, he heard a low rumble coming from just outside the door. And you might be able to guess who Levi saw next. Yep, that's right, Mr. Top Hat Hippo looking quite a bit bigger than he usually did. He barely made it through the door and walked right over to Levi. Hiya, Levi, he said. When the bag of popcorn told me you were here, I just had to stop by and say, hello. And thank you. Thank you, replied Levi. What do you mean? What did I do? It's because of you that this whole world exists, began Mr. Top Hat Hippo. You've been storing things under your bed for so long that we finally all decided to create our own little world. It's really great and lots of fun since you're kind of a slob, sorry to say. You overlook us all the time because we're not put away neatly where you can see us. We got tired of just laying around under your dusty bed, so we created this place. Levi was impressed, but also felt really bad. He was sad that all his things felt overlooked and forgotten about. Wow, I'm really sorry, Levi began. I never meant to make you feel underappreciated. I love all the stuff down here and I'm really going to miss it. Is there any way that you and everything else would, would come back to my room? Mr. Top Hat Hippo thought about it for a bit and decided to have a meeting with the rest of the things under Levi's bed. They talked privately for a little while and then came back to give Levi their answer. Levi, although we've loved our time in this world, we've created under your bed, we've decided that we miss you. We would love to come back to your room if you promise just to keep things a little bit neater. Just put us back in our proper places so we'll be right there waiting for you next time you need us, said Mr. Top Hat Hippo. Yeah, said the giant bag of popcorn. It's just a respect thing. Levi understood completely. He promised he would neaten up his room and keep it that way, giving all of his things a nice place to live because they deserved it. We believe you, Levi, said Mr. Top Hat Hippo. 
and all the other things from under the bed began to head back up to Levi's room. Once they were there, all back to normal and no longer talking, Levi decided it was time to make a big change. He stayed in his room all day cleaning, organizing, and making a place for all the things he loved so much. He was there for so long, his mom couldn't help but check on him. Her face when she walked into his room was one of pure amazement. Levi, I have never seen your room this tidy. It looks amazing. I would say this is beyond totally tidy. Levi smiled and looked at Mr. Top Hat Hippo, who was sitting in a place of honor on his bed. Levi was so happy with the decision he made to clean his room the right way. Now he would be able to enjoy all the wonderful things and know that they were all happy too. Did you learn a lesson from this story? If so, what was it? And parents, do your kids have a story idea? Leave a comment on our Apple Podcast review page with five stars, the idea and your kid's name, for a chance to join Levi and Ivy on their next adventure. Until next time. Thanks for listening. Come back for more.